Big Brother, mainstream media, government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. It's Monday, June the 14th, 2010. This is the Alex Jones Show. I'm Paul Joseph Watson, the editor and writer for PrisonPlanet.com. Uh, sitting in for Alex while he's out of town working on a project. And we're going to go to your calls at the bottom of the hour, so uh, get lined up on the boards and we'll um, get to you in the second half of this first hour. Um, in the aftermath of uh, my sitting in the three hours after I finish here, um, we've got a compilation of outstanding interviews um, which Alex has done over the past couple of weeks including uh, Jesse Ventura and Alan Hart so uh, be sure to stay tuned for that if you missed it the first time around now in anticipation of Chris Matthews and MSNBC airing this huge hit piece on Wednesday night 7pm Eastern Time the rise of the new right Um, We're going to take an in-depth look at how, while smearing peaceful grassroots American citizens and uh, anti-big government protesters, anti-bailout protesters, as domestic terrorists and racist radicals, um, simply for opposing the growth of big government and being vocal about it uh, and the tyranny that comes with it, um, Matthews has concurrently been running defense for a real domestic terrorist um, and the man who helped launch Barack Obama, Barry Sotero's political career in his living room. I refer, of course, to Bill Ayers, former leader of the violent communist revolutionary terrorist organization, the Weather Underground, a group that carried out bombings against government buildings, the State Department, the Pentagon, the Capitol building, to name but three. And uh, this demonization of grassroots political activists is, um, while in reality, while in the MSNBC and the corporate media are saying that um, there's this new frontier of hate and that there's this violent extremism that is coming from the, quote, right-wingers, in reality, the only violence is coming from zealous Obama supporters, the Obamanoids, Um, And this ties into a big story that's doing the rounds today, um, which comes from biggovernment.com. And we'll be posting this very shortly on prisonplanet.com and infowars.com. And this is Democrat Congressman Bob Etheridge assaulting students who ask him merely if he supports the Obama agenda after a Nancy Pelosi event at which she was speaking. So we'll play this clip now for PrisonPlanet.tv viewers and uh, radio listeners will be able to hear it too. So we go to this clip of Bob Etheridge. Hi, Congressman. How are you? Do you fully support the Obama agenda? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? So the clip, is, the clip continues after that. Um, perhaps we'll play the full clip later, but it's only a minute long. And it's basically this congressman, he's walking down the street. You'll be able to see it on prisonplanet.com. Um, the student reporters ask him if he supports the Obama agenda. Um, and he immediately starts assaulting them, assaulting their camera. He actually grabs one of them round the neck and goes into a kind of mini half Nelson on him. Um, and then he obviously repeats this moronic, zombified statement, who are you, who are you? So it's yet another example of, you know, while the mainstream media criticises any opposition to the government as a new frontier of violent extremism, the only violence is coming from pro-Obama goons like this congressman and um, Obama's own supporters. So we'll be back after the break to delve into that further on The Alex Jones Show with me, Paul Joseph Watson. Stay tuned.
The Fall of America and the Western World is an all-new 10-hour documentary and survival guide rolled into one. In this film, you will see the reasons why our government is failing and what you can do to prepare. Featuring Dr. Paul Craig Roberts, Joseph Farah, David Icke, Naomi Wolf, G. Edward Griffin, Doug McIntyre, Mark Crispin Miller, Mickey Z, Doug Casey, David McElvaney, and myself, Alex Jones. Protect yourself and get the tools you need to protect your family from these difficult times. The Fall of America and the Western World at www.thefallofamerica.net or click on the banners at InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. Again, that website's www.thefallofamerica.net or call 800-655-1577. Prepare yourself and the ones you love today. Fallofamerica.net. Hi folks, this is Alex Jones asking you for a minute of your time to tell you about soap. Not detergents, but good old-fashioned pure soap made by the Cal Ben Soap Company, a family-owned and operated American company. My family, staff, friends, and radio listeners are constantly telling me how much they love these products for bath, hair, laundry, and dishes. There is nothing like these factory-direct, big-money-saving, triple-concentrated soaps anywhere. Get a free, detailed catalog by calling 800-340-7091 or see them online at 5starsoap.com or infowars.com. Let's talk to the owner of 5 Star Soap, Marty Schachter, and see what he has to say. As founder and owner for over 63 years, people keep asking me, how's business? I'm happy to say our business is going down the drain. Call us at one 800 340-7091 to visit our website 5starsoap.com for buying a one to two month soap sampler. Thank you. Hello, this is Alex Jones with some important questions. If you're going into a battle and they give you a rifle and a sidearm, how much ammunition do you want? My answer would be all I can get. In the battle for freedom and the lives of your loved ones, food is your only ammunition. How much do you want? When do you want it? Now or after the battle starts? When will you need it? Can you buy it without proper identification? Will there be any food? Will it make your children sick? If there's a quarantine and you can't feed yourself, will you go to the gathering center and be immunized? You wipe out all these problems if you have a good food supply. Food is your ammunition to fight for your freedom and your life. How much will you need? We don't know. How much do you want? All you can get. I'm Alex Jones. I want all of you good guys to live to fight another day. Call 1-800-409-5633 or check it out on the web at eFoodsDirect.com. Again, that number, 1-800-409-5633. He's the T-Rex of political talk. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. This is the Alex Jones Show with me, your sitting host, Paul Joseph Watson, while Alex is away working on a project. Now, as we were discussing before the break, while Chris Matthews and MSNBC are preparing to smear grassroots Americans as violent radicals with this upcoming hit piece, The Rise of the New Right, which airs on MSNBC this Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern Time, we have Democratic congressmen actually physically assaulting reporters who are merely walking down the street um, asking this congressman if he supports the Obama agenda. Now, this mirrors... Um, what we reported on last week, which was um, at this anti-bailout protest in North Carolina, where you had this Obamanoid goon descend on the protest um, and start an argument with the protesters about um, who was to blame for the financial crisis. And of course, as those of you who have seen the video will know, and YouTube actually uh, scrubbed, deleted, memory hold the video um, shortly after we posted that article last week, it has since re-emerged. But it shows this um, Obamanoid activist uh, landing a left hook on this anti-bailout protester who's protesting against big government. So again, and we've, we've documented many other examples which were in the article, um, while the media is smearing so-called right-wingers, which in reality are just grassroots libertarians, independents, conservatives across the board, as dangerous radicals who are a physical threat and their free speech represents a threat to the federal government, um, smearing them as violent radicals and extremists, 
The only violence is coming from these Obamanoids and these Democratic congressmen um, that, so, that support Obama's agenda. So we've got this hit piece coming up on Wednesday. Uh, we got the leaked script last week from a concerned MSNBC staffer. Now, just to understand this, Alex Jones went into this interview. Um, he initially thought he would be interviewed by Chris Matthews, but they sent the production team from MSNBC to interview Alex, and they gave him their word that this would be a balanced and fair biography um, of the growth of the anti-big government movement. And yet, we received the transcript, we went through it, and it became clear that MSNBC, once again, had resorted to exercising the same tired old cliches about how anyone who criticizes the federal government is basically a dangerous radical neo-nazi racist they compare them to um, these obscure radio hosts in the 30s